There was a uh, ad hoc committee of the board called the uh, Trusting Communications Committee, which came about because some of us complained that uh, there's a, dis a lot of distrust in IEEE. Volunteers not trusting other volunteers, like especially in TAB. TAB's attitude has always been there. They are doing it to us. Okay, and the they is usually the board of directors or staff. And uh, some of us felt strongly that we ought to improve the communication amongst uh, staff, the board of directors, and TAB. And um, if you improve the communication, you also automatically improve the trust. And uh, so there was a trusting communications committee where I was a member of it. And uh, we came up with proposals, very controversial. And um, Mike Adler, even though he agreed to create the committee, he was not happy with some of our proposals. And he actually told one of our committee members that she couldn't speak at one point, which, which was kind of appalling. Um, and we did change some things. Or out of that grew some changes, which I advocated during my later terms mm -hmm. on the board. Uh, for example, the IGP budget was a big secret. And uh, the only, only the board of directors and quote-unquote trusted staff had access to the IGP budget. And I said, most of the money is produced by TAB. Why can't TAB members have access to the IGP budget? And, uh, and I said, in fact, why can't everybody have access to the IGP budget? What's the big secret? I said, if I, if I were to take a budget and mail the copy to Elsevier, our main competition, what could they possibly do with that? And nobody could answer me on that. Nobody could answer the question, but the, the uh, general feeling, especially by staff, was that this is just not done, that, that, that this is too much, that we should not make the budget of IEEE available to everyone. So we finally compromised, and the budget of IEEE became available to directors, which was always the case, director elects, which up until then wasn't the case, and society and council presidents. And that's, as far as I know, is still in the finance operation manual. So we, we mm -hmm. increased transparency a little more, and I think that contributed to trust. Mm -hmm. People could actually see what the IGP's expenses were, where the money was going, where the money was coming from, and why shouldn't that be public information? I still don't understand why that should not be public information, but at least it's semi-public. At least a lot more people now have access to the budget than before. Another, and this was a motion that I proposed to make the budget available. Mm -hmm. uh, another motion I proposed was to put the IGP's uh, Form 990 which is our tax return on the IGP website. Um, this came about because one of my fellow directors at one of the board meetings was passing around a note, a secret note to all the other directors showing something that he copied from a document where the executive, executive director's salary was listed. And at the time, Ben Sinise was making something like half a million dollars a year. And this too was a big secret. Nobody was supposed to know except the board of directors members. And I looked into it and I said, this is public information. Nonprofit organizations are supposed to make their, their tax returns available to the public. And IEEE had sent it to an organization called GuideStar, which is online, GuideStar.com. It was not easy to find, but if you spend some effort you could find IGP's tax return online at GuideStar. I said, well, if, if IGP's tax return can be found at GuideStar, why shouldn't we be able to be found on the IGP's own website? So I proposed a motion that the IGP's tax return be posted on the IGP website, and that passed. And as, ever since then, you can look at IGP's tax return, and within that tax return are the salaries of the highest paid, uh, right. I think, eight employees or 10 employees or whatever it is, including the executive director, mm -hmm. it was post, it's been posted every year, not a big deal, not, hasn't caused any problems, absolutely no reason why it shouldn't have posted, mm -hmm. been posted earlier, but now it's posted, and 